Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm M. And today's video, you probably already heard of the newest productivity app of Apple, which is called Freeform. This is an app designed by Apple for creative brainstorming and collaboration. So this is kind of like a whiteboard or a draft app. So with that being said, this is just a very simple yet powerful tool to brainstorm ideas with your peers or with your team and put them all together in this freeform app. So to know more, please keep on watching. So like I said earlier, Freeform is an app that provides a flexible canvas or whiteboard across your Apple devices, bringing all your ideas into one place. So Freeform comes free on every iPhone, iPad, and Mac, supporting iOS and iPad OS 16.2 or Mac OS Ventura 13.1. The toolbar in this app is very similar to that of the Apple Notes, so it's very simple and easy to understand. Now let's dive into it. When you open the app, you'll see this homepage, a very familiar layout like the Apple Notes. On the left side are your tabs, the all board tabs, the recent tabs, shared, favorites, and the trash bin. The icon above is your sidebar view icon, so you can tap on it to maximize your workspace. On the right side are your individual boards, which you can rename, tag as favorite, duplicate, share, and delete. Above that are these icons. So first is the create new note icon, the page manager icon. So here you can organize your boards by date or name. You can also change the view type, either thumbnail or list view, then the use groups option. The select button lets you duplicate your boards or delete them. And then lastly, we have the search tab. Now let's head on to the canvas. If you are familiar with Nebo Note app, they have this freeform mode too, which is very similar to this one. This canvas or whiteboard has no layout option or paper sizes, no other templates to choose from because it is simply a whiteboard. So you can zoom in up to 400 and zoom out up to 10%. The default paper style is dotted, which can be a guide for your drawings, but if you don't want that, you can hide the grid. So to do that, go here and tap the title of your board and tap the hide grid. You'll also see these other options. You can rename your current board, duplicate it, add to your favorites, find a specific term or word within your board, and export as PDF document and share to other files or other apps. Now let's head on to the toolbar. So first is your writing tool. So I guess you're very much familiar with this one, but I'll go through it one by one. So we have the undo and redo buttons. Next is what I call the scribble pen because it converts your scribbles to text. Then we have this kind of like a gel pen where you can adjust the size and opacity. The color options are on this side and you can customize them here. You can add colors from the color grid the spectrum, and also adjust the colors in the sliders. You can also type the color code on this space here and add to your presets. It's also a good thing to have the eyedropper tool to pick up the exact color from anywhere on your board or pick up a color from an image on your canvas. I'm not so sure what this pen is called, but it creates a texture same with the crayon. You can adjust the pen size, the opacity, and the colors too. The next one is like a paint tube. This is kind of weird though because it forms these broken lines and you have to close it to form shapes or figures. So when you pull your pencil up, you can't reconnect the lines like the pen tool does in Photoshop so you have to continuously draw. For the eraser, you have two options. The pixel eraser which allows you to erase little by little while the object eraser lets you erase the whole thing. There's also a lasso tool in Freeform. 
It doesn't select your objects or shapes from the shapes tool or photos, but what I like about the lasso tool in Apple is that you don't have to select super carefully or perfectly because it does it for you. All you have to do is encircle the text and you'll see how it follows the shape of your selection. And from here, you have an option to cut, copy, delete, select all, resize, duplicate, or separate your selection. The three dots here have the following options. The auto minimize, the draw with finger option, and the pencil settings from your iPad. Moving on, Freeform also has sticky notes which you can resize and customize the color. To start writing, just double tap on it. So you have 7 colors to choose from. You also have the paragraph options for your sticky note like the character styles, the font size, the align option, and you can also insert some bullets, numbers, and dash to your paragraphs. You cannot change the font style though, but if you want that, you can add a text box instead. You can tap on the text box to customize your font style, just tap the letter A and choose from here. The other options for the text tool is very similar from your sticky note. Next is your Shapes and Objects tool. Here you have a variety of choices from your basic shapes, geometry, some common objects from different fields, and some ornaments. By tapping this, you can customize the color. So unlike the sticky notes, here you have all the colors you might want for your project. You can also choose the style, the thickness, and the color of the strokes. You can also type on it by double tapping. You have the same paragraph options and your other options too. If you want to add images or videos, you can do so by tapping the media tool up here. You can also drag them from your gallery or take a photo from your camera. You can choose to resize it to the original size or replace the photo and it will stay in the exact position. You can also crop the image, view to save, print or airdrop to another device or just have a full view of the image. Then duplicate it or delete it. You can add shadows or make the corners round and you can also bring it to front or back of another image. You can also add videos in free form. So go to the media tool again and tap the photos or videos or using the split view of your iPad, drag the video from your gallery and you can tap on it to view the same options. In the media tool, you can also scan documents. Just take a photo, adjust the size, and save it. And you can annotate from here. Another thing you can do is to add a link to your projects. In the media tool, tap on link and enter the link address of a website or a YouTube video. So the same thumbnail from your channel is used here. You can resize, duplicate, delete it, and to view the video or website, just tap the eye option and you'll be directed to that site. To prevent your objects, your sticky notes, text boxes, and your photos from moving around accidentally, you can lock them and everything will stay where they are. 
So to do this, just select your objects, tap the three dots and tap lock. Now, if you plan to move it somewhere, just unlock them. If you've noticed, resizing objects and images are limited to just like making it smaller or bigger. But if you want to change the size of the width and length, you can uncheck the constraint proportions to be able to adjust freely. You can insert PDF documents, but it's just for the purpose of viewing the file. You cannot annotate on them in free form, but you have an option to open the PDF documents to your note apps like the Good Notes and Notability and do the annotation from there. Since Freeform has infinite canvas, it's harder to find words within your board. But you can find or search words by tapping the title of your board. However, you can only search text and not your handwriting. To start your collaboration, you can invite by tapping the collaboration button at the top right of your screen. You can invite your peers or your team via a link or email and even allow them to invite other people. So you can send messages, collaborate through audio, or even via FaceTime. So all collaborators can view and edit others' added contents or ideas in the project. And you can auto-sync across all your Apple devices. Overall, Apple Freeform is a good addition to your productivity essentials. Plus, it's free for iOS, iPad OS 16.2 and Mac OS Ventura 13.1. It's not a note app, so it's understandable that it lacks most note app toolbar or features. Nevertheless, Freeform is a good draft app for your project, and feel free to try it out and see if it works for you. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching. I hope this video was helpful, and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and please do subscribe to my channel. See you in my next one. Peace.